Good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday, August 30th. I am that by Guy 3000. And I wanted to start off once again by saying thank you very much for watching and subscribing to my channel. I have been delayed in putting out any new content. And a lot of that has to do with uh, me going into a tailspin regarding my depression this last week. Um, I had a couple of things recorded and I never got around to posting them. And then some things happened that I can't get into the full details of what happened. But I will say that it triggered my stress levels to a point where I ended up getting a migraine and it was so severe that it then spiraled into me going down the dark hole of depression again. And it wasn't until about midway through the day today that I finally have snapped out of it. That's not to say that it wasn't tough because I was exhibiting behaviors that were very, for lack of a better term, very serious. And I don't like feeling that way. I don't like being put in a situation where my depression spirals to a point that I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get out of it. Now, I will say that a lot of that has to do with the mentality of people or lack thereof. Um, the last time I checked, I am 45 years old. I graduated from high school in uh, May, June, 1992. So it's been 27 years since I've been done with high school and yet, Time and again, it seems like I keep coming across that behavior. Very juvenile, very immature, very cliquish, and I'm done with it. It was old when I was in high school for the four years that I was there, and it seems time and again I'm running into those same situations. And unfortunately, these are situations that I can't readily remove myself from, which is why I'm doing this channel, is to be an outlet for, you know, people who are maybe having similar frustrations as I am. And actually what I did today was I took today off prior to the Labor Day weekend and got some laundry done, uh, ran some errands, got my hair, the sides of it trimmed up. I'm very happy with it. Uh, did some cooking and I made up some really great uh, chicken breasts and uh, some roasted vegetables that I'm going to do uh, with some quinoa. Um, I know that starting in September, I know I've said it in previous videos, but you know, honestly, starting in September, I'm going to start going back to the gym. So that September 1st is on Sunday. So I have to make an effort. Um, and I just want to say that if you get into a situation where you feel that you're just not going to be able to come out of it reach out to somebody, talk to somebody. Fortunately, I have somebody in my corner with Doug and our relationship. But in all seriousness, if you ever feel the need to just reach out and speak to somebody, I am here. I want to be able to be that outlet for people. Oh, I will, you know, also say that unfortunately there was somebody I had to unfollow from uh, Twitter because the posts that they were posting were getting into the realm of, you know, uber depressive uh, to the point that chronic massive depression that requires the help of a doctor and uh, therapy, things of that nature. And, and mind you, this is somebody completely different. I ended up having to unfollow them because I'm an empath. I can sense emotions, positive and negative. And I know it's an electronic form of, you know, with Twitter, but when you see the comments that are being made and you're reaching out to them and they don't respond and you realize you got to take care of your own mental health and physical health first and foremost before anyone else's. So even with me reaching out without getting a response, I unfortunately had to unfollow them because I had to look out for my well-being in the long term. And so 
I don't think that person, if he still follows me, just I want to let him know personally, please get some help because there are a lot of people who are concerned about you and want to make sure you're still part of this world with us. And I know it's really enlightening that I've finally come to a point where even when I'm having my moods that I have, I know that I want to keep fighting through it, that I don't want to give up. And I know it's that's the one thing, it's easy. It's easy to throw in the towel. But I wanted to also just touch briefly on some hopes that I have in the near future. I hope one day I can direct a music video with Coheed and Cambria. And I hope that one day I'm able to really turn this into my own personal business. I hope one day I can be a positive force of nature to other people. And honestly, I hope that in 2020, um, we will be done with this regime that we currently have in office. And all I will say to you is, if you have any topics you would like me to discuss, I would be more than happy to, but I'm going to keep doing this. I know in previous videos, they say I have a lot of ideas, and I do. I'm just not following up on them, and I do apologize to you, the viewers, for not, you know, not being able to do that. I will say that when I get into this negative headspace, I shut down. And I know it's not going to do me any good to stay shut down, which is why, you know, doing laundry today, cooking, actually snapped me out of it. And that's a great thing. And all I can say is this. You have people out there who love and support you. Follow your dreams. Don't give up on them. And in time, hopefully those dreams will come true for you. My first dream came true in terms of meeting Coheed and Cambria uh, a few months ago, a couple months ago when I was in Atlanta and Travis Stever saw my music video and he remembered that, you know, watching it and I'm going to do one for toys. I've got it all laid out. And after that, hopefully one day I will work with the band. That's my goal. My goal is to be a music video director. My goal is to build this channel. My goal is to be the person I was always meant to be. As always, thank you very much for watching. And before I end this video, I once again want to say for the record that I am still doing the contest. So um, please like, share, and subscribe. I've got, as I've said before... I've got this uh, Pop Funko Conan O'Brien that I'm giving away. After I reach 100 subscribers, uh, one lucky winner in the continental United States will get that. And I'm going to keep doing more like that. Man. Here's the other thing. People always used to say what I should and shouldn't do with my hair. And the thing is, is that all of this is what you want to do with it, not anyone else. And I'm so happy with how long my hair is getting. I'm very happy with what I've been doing with my channel. I'm very happy in my relationship with Doug. And I'm happy to be doing this channel for all of you. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at thatbyguy3000. Oh. I love you all. I love you 3000. We'll talk to you soon. You take care. Have a great Labor Day weekend and be kind to each other because we're not high school students anymore. We're adults. So talk to you soon. Bye.